I'm 70 years old. I've been teaching 43 years. <laughs> a life is set aside to do nothing but read books. <laughs> I mean, what a wonderful, wonderful gift that is, that someone thinks it's all right for you to do nothing but to read books and to help people read the books you've been reading. The difficulty of teaching is to know how to go on when you're not sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> and you have, to, you have to do that over and over again because if you're doing it well, you always discover the inadequacies of what you've just done. And that's part of initiating students into the wonderful world of learning. The most important work is having graduate students commit their life to you in terms of your giving them direction. And that's very frightening because you better be very serious about what you're about because they are taking great risk in uh, studying with me. I'm an antagonistic son of a bitch. So <laughs> I enjoy a good fight, <laughs> so it hasn't been a struggle at all. My first teaching job was at Augustana College in Rock Island, Illinois, where I was being let go. I thought at the time, well, the hell with it, I'll go back and lay brick, I like that. Of, of course, you can't lay brick uh, your whole life because it just wears your body out. But it always was a kind of safety valve that made it possible for me to think, well, if this stuff falls through, there's something I can do that people need. I can lay brick. You know, when you lay brick, and um, uh, at the end of the day, you can kind of get off the scaffold, look at, look at the wall and think, that looks pretty good. And there's a real satisfaction in that. There's never that kind of satisfaction in uh, being an academic. You just, you just don't have that kind of completeness.